What is going on YouTube? Just helping you out here. And for today's video, I will be doing Chapter 6, Problem 3 in the Fundamentals of Physics textbook, 8th edition by Gerald Walker, Halliday, and Resnick. Chapter 6 is all about force and motion, Part 2. And in particular, Problem 3 talks about some box that is pushed across a horizontal floor. We are given the force and the mass of the box. We are told the coefficient of kinetic friction and we're asked to find the magnitude of the frictional force and the box's acceleration. So the first thing you always want to do with these kinds of problems is draw a free body diagram. So let's pretend that this is the horizontal surface and here is our box which we are told has a mass of 55 kilograms and so we know we have a weight force mg and we have a normal force and it's being pushed this way with the applied force and our force of friction is always in the opposite direction so that's our free body diagram and so to find the force of kinetic friction we can say force of kinetic and that's always equal to mu k or the coefficient of kinetic friction times the normal force and this box isn't levitating at all it is not moving at all in the y direction so we can say that this weight force has to be equal to the normal force so force normal is equal to mg so we can rewrite this and say the force of kinetic friction is equal to mu k times mg and we are given all those values so we can plug all those in 0 0.35 times 55 times 9.81 and if you plug that into your calculator you should get 1.9 times 10 to the 2 newtons and now we are asked to find the acceleration of the crate and like I said there's no motion in the y direction so there's no acceleration in the y direction the only acceleration is in the x direction so what we can say is the sum of forces in the x direction is equal to your force applied here minus the force of friction and we can also say the sum of the forces in the x direction is equal to mass times acceleration in the x direction and these are equal so we can set them equal to each other and say force applied minus the force of friction is equal to m a and we are solving for a here so we can uh, divide both sides by the mass and say a of x is equal to force applied minus force of friction over m and we have these two values and we found this value in the last part of the question so we can plug all those values in and so we have 220 minus 190 divided by 55 and if you plug that into your calculator you should get that the acceleration of the box is 0 0.56 meters per second squared So that's it for this problem. If you found this video helpful, please drop a like, leave a comment if you have a question about something I did or an idea for a future video, and lastly, please don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends about my channel so I can grow and help more of you guys out. I'm just helping you out. See you in the next video.